Oh wow, there's so many people here. Look at this. Whoa. Okay, so there must be something for the Battle of Ashenvale event. I uh, don't know exactly what these people are here for, but they can only be there for that one reason, right? I imagine. There's so many people here. Cool. So my guild is looking for people for ZF. I don't know what ZF is. It's a dungeon, apparently, but uh, I guess I'll Google whatever a dungeon is, because it's like a level 40-ish dungeon. ZF. Wow. Zulfarak is a level 44 to 54 dungeon that is located in the northwestern Tenaris. Okay. I haven't really been there much but that's good to know so every time i am about to enter a new map i get this slightly you know like warm and fuzzy feeling like oh you know what what what, what map's gonna come up next and you know probably most of you guys watching this you you will know what's coming up next you will know what the map looks like but for me it's a very interesting experience because i First of all, I would like to know what kind of mobs are there. Although, you know, this game does use a fair amount of reskins. So that part isn't the most exciting. But just the, the map transition, you know, where you slowly move from map A to map B. And, you know, I just kind of want to see what the aesthetic is like. I'm kind of expecting more night elf stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if we, we have something that's a bit similar to Darkshaw, maybe. Uh, you know, keep the, the purple stuff going. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we get a bit of a different color tint, because of course this map has also been very foresty like that as well. Now, Fellwood, I'm going to assume it is a forest. I mean, that's pretty much to be expected, right, with a name like Fellwood. Uh, but I don't know what kind of forest aesthetic I'm about to run into, so here we go. This is pretty much the transitionary zone. It is becoming a bit darker, so I guess it is a little bit more akin to Darkshore. The grass also moves away from being green to, well, a bit more brown, red-ish. The map does feel fairly similar to Darkshore. There seems to be a slightly more ethereal filter going on, like slightly more green, I think, in the filter. But... In terms of the assets and stuff, it looks very similar. Although I do think these are something I haven't seen before. The mobs also, they are apparently level 47 here. So where I was thinking Felwood was probably not the highest level zone. Level 49 is definitely not easy for me. And this is the Emerald Sanctuary. Oh! Oh, and the map is very green. So does this in any way have some connection Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh no. Guards! Guards! I, can't I don't have a summon yet. Guards! Guards, 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 guards. Please. Please. Are you a guard? Aha, you are scared. Oh, you're not scared. You're still there. I thought you were scared. That's still recharging. Guards! Guards. Okay, don't spawn too far away. Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to ask is... Does the fact that this is called the Emerald Sanctuary, does that have a lore connection to what we just read about the Emerald Realm? Which is also a green tinted hued realm. So I don't know if there's a connection there, but it would make sense to me, especially since it's also not too far away from that map. Also, is Winter Spring a map? I've never been to Winter Spring. Moonglade? Winter Spring? You know, you would imagine. Winter Spring is like a snowy map or something. Oops, I'm like walking into a tree as we speak. But I honestly have no clue. There are quests over here that I could accept, but I think at this point, what I'd rather do is just try and find the flight path and then get the hell out of here because this place is not meant for me. Oh boy, this guy demounted me again. Okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this map, guys. Everything seems to want to murder me, and I am very much underleveled. Maybe it is not a good call to be going here. Maybe I should just leave this for the grown-ups, which is not what I am, because I am just a little gnome. Wolf, you can't find me if I hide out in here, right? I am on... I'm, I'm behind this thing. I'm, I'm gonna sit down. Here we go. Here we go. I'm sitting down. <gasps> it smells me! 
<laughs> oh, wait. That worked. I am a genius. <laughs> How did that work? I have no idea. I guess like aggro radius or something like that. Okay, I should get back on the path and maybe then I am safe. So on the map, it seems as though there is a road leading this way into Hayal. There might also be a road up here, but it doesn't feel like it. So maybe this is the way into whatever that map is, but it does mean that I have to go off road. Also, what is this thing doing? Is this like shooting poison up in the air? Level 51 mobs. I should probably be very, very careful, but I'm really curious. Oh boy. Oh boy, those are like level 52 or something because I can't even see their level. Anger claw bear, guys. They're so angry. Their claws are even angry. Oh boy, something's hitting me. Get in the water. Oh no, don't get in the water. Ah, uh, you can't cross, right? Yes, you can cross. I am in a bit of a pickle. I have been pickled again, guys. I, I'm a pickler and um, I should not have gone there. I made a bit of an oopsie. So with my exploration and of course with the raid we did as well, I have been level 40 for 5 hours and 1 minute. We have now been playing for a total of 3 hours, oh, sorry, 3 days and almost 9 hours. Can I rescue my corpse from here without dying again? That is the question. Alright, my corpse has been recovered. We are back on the path and let's just keep heading straight forward. No more detouring from the path is what I say right now, right before I will of course detour once again. I also wonder if mobs who are much higher level than I have a larger aggro radius. And because I know in some games that is a thing, you know, where the higher level difference there is, the more aggressive they are and the you know the further they are away from you, the less aggressive they become. Like you have to step almost completely next to them to trigger them. While if you're very much under leveled, you have to well be you know within their like sight and you will instantly just get aggro. Uh, there is a path here as well that is not exactly taking a detour from the path. And it's called Jadenar. Jadenar? Is that a town or... I'm always scared of gods nowadays. Oh boy, no, 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 mage mob. No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, don't hit me. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Keep running, keep running. Get out of here. Get out of here. Keep, please keep running. Please keep running. Please keep running. Come on. Go, 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 go. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Life is good. We're okay. My HP is very low. So what I'll do is since I think I'm quite safe here, I'll dismount and I'll eat some fine cheddar. This zone has some spooky music, guys. This is some, some proper spooky music. Blood Venom Falls. I mean, the word Venom definitely is correctly placed in this zone. I like how their corpses are just like a sploosh on the floor. They have been splooshed. So, if I'm being really honest here, I obviously haven't seen all of this zone yet, but I think I've seen a decent amount of this zone. And... Aesthetically, it probably is near the bottom for me so far because I'm not opposed to dead looking maps or like more dull looking maps, but I don't think I'm a big fan of the green filter. Like it just, it's not bad. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I would get very, very tired of this very, very quickly. And that's coming from someone who actually quite likes darker, spookier zones. And maybe I'll change my mind. I'm also thinking, by the way, I, I may have mentioned this before, but I'm thinking about... Oh, no, leave me alone. Please. No. No, please. Please don't. Please don't dismount me. Please. I beg of you. Please. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh, I think I'm good. Okay, great. We can continue. So, I'm thinking about doing something, and I would like to hear from you guys if you want to see that. What I'm thinking about doing is doing a bit of a tier list, or like a ranking of all the maps I have visited on my journey and kind of just ranking them in, in terms of my level of enjoyment. You guys will all know that the Barons will be at the very, very bottom. You can, you know, you can dispute that. You can discuss it in the comments. You can tell me I'm stupid for saying that, but the Barons has their own tier. It's at the very, very bottom of the tier list. Terrible, horrible map. Uh, but I would like to just kind of 
you know, waffle away and rank all the maps because I think that might be kind of fun from a new player experience. But let me know if that's something you guys want to see because it's definitely something that I would like to do, I think. But I'll do that once I'm, you know, completely through with my leveling process. I also wonder where I'm going to be ending up because I'm heading towards winter spring right now. And there is still a path that suggests I can keep, keep going forward and forward and forward. But the map kind of suggests that I'm going to be running into a wall right now. So I'm curious to see if I'll actually be able to walk into Winter Spring. Which does appear to be a snow map, as the name would suggest. Will I just go up high and then go like into the mountainous areas? That sounds pretty cool. Timbermaw Hold. Oh, will I go through a tunnel? Please don't let it be a tunnel filled with mobs, guys, please. So I haven't found a flight path. I've probably missed it somewhere, but, you know, I can always go back. And this is a cool looking tunnel with all the vegetation and stuff. All right. Now, as much as I didn't really enjoy the zone too much, this looks really nice. I really like this. It's, it's a different aesthetic than what I have seen so far. There are timber more warders in here. See, I don't know if this actually is the path to where I want to go. And I think I am about to be absolutely murdered by respawning mobs. But, yeah. Are these kobolds? Can I, can I like, maybe drop aggro, like, going up here? Can it follow me up here? It can follow me up here. I would drop down. There's no point. Okay, go. Run, 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 run. Sprint, sprint. Wait, I can fear. I can fear. Hold, hold on. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I could fear. Okay, we respawned in the Iron Tree Woods. Don't know where we are. Don't know who that is. Is that this Malfurion guy or something we've been hearing stuff about? Probably not, right? No. All right, uh, that is going to do it for my quick adventure here. I'll, I'll return here at some point, you know, when I'm level appropriate. But for now, we can't really achieve anything here. So I'm going to return to life. There we go. I'm going to... Well, at least we've uncovered something. Like, you know, I kind of want to see if... No, I followed the path, like, all the way through here. So... You know what I'm going to do, guys? Sorry, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of cheating here. I'm going to do a Fellwood Light Path. Where is it, guys? I want to... I want to uncover it. Fellwood zone. Show me. Where is the flight path? Where can I go? All right. I have learned where the flight master is. It's located right here. So we were very close, but we just had to go south as opposed to north. So I'm going to go check it out. Also, I like how this place is called Fellpaw Village. You know, it's Fellwood. And there were mobs with paws. So Fellpaw, you know. That works for me. Although we now have summoning sickness, and I, sh I'm not sure I made the right call. There's a decent chance we'll die again, but you know we die without summoning sickness as well, most likely. So, please, don't hit me, please, 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 please. Oh, toxic horrors, cool mobs. I like them. All right, I'm gonna see if I can sneak my way back onto the road. And then we should be pretty much fine, I think, I hope. Please! There are so many of them. Is nobody questing here? Is nobody taking these mobs out for me? Does nobody like this zone? There's people, thank you very much. So people in my guild chat are talking about an issue that I've seen pop up more and more and more in the community wherever I've looked, because I sometimes scan through the WoW Classic subreddit, I of course have a guild, and I sometimes see people chatting in towns, and one recurring issue that I'm seeing is an issue that I'm going to be running into as well, is the incursions, and I've mentioned them on, on this playthrough before, but the incursions, from what I understand, they do three to four different things, and do them all extremely well. So first of all, they give you a ton of experience, which is kind of invalidating the way I'm playing this game. Now, I don't mind that too much, partially because I'm doing a series on it, you know, so I want to be doing the more interesting stuff anyway. So for me, you know, it doesn't really bother me too much. But of course, I can imagine, you know, it kind of takes away from the classic experience. But that is not really the, the biggest problem, because that problem is only there while leveling. The second problem, from what I've heard, is much bigger. And that is a problem that it's also the best or at least one of the best ways of getting gold in this game 
so it is throwing a lot of liquid gold into the economy of this game and because there's so much liquid gold in this game now that means that all of the items that people are purchasing are going for much higher prices because inflation is occurring due to the amount of money being pumped into the economy which means that people who are not doing incursions which of course would be me as well have a much lower relative amount of gold and are now struggling to buy things because people who are doing the incursions are driving up the prices because apparently from my understanding people who do incursions and they hit level cap they have hundreds if not sometimes like thousands of gold people who do not do that and they level cap they might have hundreds of gold at the most and that is of course a a problem i don't know exactly if that is going to be a, a long-term problem or if it's going to be more gold making ways when people are level 60 and thus it's going to become less of a problem it's going to be more like a temporary problem or like a like a mid-level problem but yeah it's definitely something that i care about and then of course there is also the reputation grind that it's the best for and supposedly you also get amazing gear from it so there are so many amazing things you get from it and i i haven't played enough to form a cohesive opinion of it you know i i like to when i when i share an opinion of something i like to make sure that i have a well-researched well thought through opinion before i say something but from my limited knowledge of the system it sounds like a terrible system also this person has really cool daggers i like him anyway like flight fight? path uncovered we can now go to Rutheran Village in Tottrussell. We can go to Aberdeen, Darkshore, Talon, a branch, Glade in Fellwood, and of course Astranar in Ashenville. So slowly but surely we're also uncovering this continent, although much, much slower. So next up, I am going to be going back over to Darkshire because that's where my halfstone is. I am going to be taking a flight path to Ironforge and I'm going to be handing in my quest.